Camilla, you have always been the most caring and selfless person I have ever known. I have always looked up to you and I have always hoped to grow up to be exactly like you. You are not only my sister, you are also my best friend. You look so beautiful tonight and I'm so glad that you get to marry your person. I can remember the one time you came into my room and you sat on my bed and you started crying your eyes out about how much you love Dan. And then I said, get the hell out of my room. <laughs> But after that, I knew Dan was the one for you. Dan, I couldn't think of a better person to marry my sister. I couldn't be happier that I had been able to call you my friend these last few years, and now I get to call you my brother. Let's all raise a glass to the newlywed Mr. and Mrs. Herbner. I can't wait to watch you both grow as a family and as a couple, and I wish you both many, many years of happiness. Cheers. <laughs> Dan and I have been good friends since high school, but at Ohio State, you know, when we got there, we were just two young kids trying to find our place in the world who spent most of our time and enjoyed really just drinking beer and watching football, the two of us. <laughs> but Dan, really, you've been impressive your whole life and all the endeavors you've taken on, from your success in academics and athletics in high school to graduating college in three years and even getting a decent job with a journalism degree. <laughs> For those reasons, I, I have no doubt that you guys will find success in your marriage and really live a happy life together. Ella, Dan has truly been a happier guy since you guys have met. I, mean, I remember the first time Dan came over um, to my apartment and was telling me about how hot this new ice skating girl was <laughs> that he matched with on whatever. <laughs> Here we are at your guys' wedding day, so that's pretty crazy. I just want you guys to know that I'm obviously always there for you guys. Most importantly, Dan, never forget that football and beer is just a call away. <laughs> Cheers. Dan and I met at Ohio State, and I moved in as Dan's roommates in spring semester in 2015. So Dan, at the time, Little husky. <laughs> terrible haircut. And his style, I think, was best described as an offensive lineman from Chagrin, <laughs> whose mom went to Dick's Sporting Goods and maxed out the credit card for his big move down to Columbus. I watched Dan throughout the semester and as friends. I watched him study. I watched him work hard. I watched him play harder. And, and now as I, I watch you, Dan, sitting next to Ella here, um, I, you have it figured out, Dan. The true compassion that you shared um, to me back then has just always stuck with me. And, and thank you for, for everything you've done, Dan. I, I really appreciate it. And, and it's a true honor being your friend. So, Ella. Thank you for bringing this happiness to Dan and, and all of the uh, friendship and compassion that you've also shared with me over the years. Um, it's been a pleasure to get to know you and you are truly a special person and a perfect fit for Dan and a beautiful bride. Please let us all uh, raise our glasses and, and do a toast for the newly Herbiners. Cheers. Wow. <laughs>
Hello. Oh. Love you. Oh, you got me something. Ooh, what is this? Thank you to everyone for being here. Your very presence means that you're an important part of Dan and Ella's life. I felt no more fitting than to describe to you all today how I've watched their relationship grow over the last few years. We all met each other after college in what ended up being a blessing in disguise. Daniel and Ella have something about them when they're together that is contagious to others. Excitement and joy follows them everywhere they go. From the first time I saw them together, I just knew they were gonna be great for each other. I think the thing that reaffirmed it the most from an outsider looking in was they both push each other to sacrifice for one another and they allow the other to be the best version of themselves. It takes a different level of respect, comfort, and most importantly, love to be able to do this for each other. I hope this day is everything each of you wanted, but more importantly, deserved. Daniel and Ella, you were loved by many, and the love that you have for one another is the purest form of genuine. I wanted to thank you and your families for opening up your caring arms and letting us all enjoy the memorable day with you. It brings me great honor to be the one officially bringing you together on this special day. Daniel, I swear to you that I will dedicate my life from this day forward. Ella, I swear to you that I will dedicate my life from this day forward. To filling our days with beauty and laughter. I will celebrate your spirit and all of your accomplishments. Work to inspire you. And be here to remind you of your beauty and strength. I take you today as my partner. My confidant, my other half and I will love you for the rest of my life. And I will love you for the rest of my life. Ella and Daniel, do you take one another as partners from this day forward as husband and wife? We do. We do. <laughs> I give you this ring. 
to remind you of this day. I give you this ring to remind you of this day. When in front of our friends and family, we vowed that our love can overcome all things. That our love unites, inspires, and celebrates. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. I now, for the first time, pronounce you married. You know, may kiss the bride. <laughs> It's great to have everybody here today, but the real reason you're here is to see me, Father of the Bride. <laughs> we would like to welcome you to the celebration and honor of the wonderful newlyweds, Ella and Daniel. We couldn't be more proud of both of them. Ella and Daniel, we love you both and look forward to your future together. Thank you for everyone to help make this evening memorable and thank you all for attending. We're so happy you are here. So please enjoy yourself, let's have fun. Let's have a toast for the uh, newlyweds, Daniel and Ella Herbner. <laughs> 